just talked to us about co-regulation and I thought I would offer um, just a really simple basic way to possibly practice that. Every situation is going to be different, every parent and kid are going to be different, but um, I think the ability to practice it with our bodies and sometimes to be able to practice it when we're not super in the moment in some of that like kind of power struggle can be helpful. Um, so here's one way to possibly practice. It's kind of got a four part piece. So um, being able to check in first with our feet and literally even just saying feet, right? Hands, even like what are my hands doing, right? Then my eyes. So where am I looking? What do I see right now? I see purple and I see uh, something on the wall. And then even the last part, hand on chest, feeling that weight. So we have feet, hands, eyes, heart. So I'll kind of lead us through it. So in a moment of just a lot of activity, I'm thinking about feeling some of that hyper arousal that comes with a tantrum or some, you know, my kid saying no. So noticing what's happening in the moment and saying feet, breathing in, breathing out, hands, breathing in, maybe even I can just breathing out, eyes, breathing in, breathing out, heart. So being able to kind of piece those four together and it could be feet, hands, eyes, heart, right? And being able to use markers around us. So we'll practice one more time. Maybe you can join me. So finding, where are my feet? I'm supported. Hands. I can choose. Eyes. I can be present. And heart. I can care for my child. So maybe finding that practice and that phrasing with breath, and maybe there's ways that you can bring in your own kind of affirmations, but it might just be about feet, hands, eyes, and heart. So this is how you would um, mm -hmm. regulate yourself when you feel yourself starting to yeah. effort, become effervescent. Right, right. And I think um, it could be something, and this is maybe best case scenario, it could be something to even practice with your family. It could be something really fun just to do with your kids in moments of being really calm um, and kind of having that four part feet, hands, eyes, heart as something that the family just knows about. Mm -hmm. um, I think when conflict starts to get that into that like heightened kind of land, that's a lot harder to access these things. So I think practicing farther down and it could be that you're in the moment and there's a refusal to do homework or a refusal to come out and you might just literally have a moment to say, okay, what are my feet doing? I feel the ground underneath me. And then you gotta keep going. So maybe even using one of those parts and it could be um, if there's a part of your body you can connect with quicker and more, it's more accessible, go with that. Um, so maybe it's just that ground, I'm supported, feet. Um, but practicing it in moments of calm and less arousal can kind of help us to be ready for the really heightened times where even if, as I take a big inhale, thinking about being in conflict, my body, my body is a lot more tense and I'm definitely not um, in my feet. So um, starting there even, yeah. Okay, and, and this is what you meant by the check-in when we talked the last time. Yeah. Week. Yeah, this yeah. is self-check-in. Yeah. yeah. It's simple, but it can be hard. I think breath is always, I think, the first place to start, too. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if we can kind of breathe in connection with something in our body, it kind of mm -hmm. helps us to be actually right mm -hmm. here, right mm -hmm. now. Um, right. But just yeah. even, like, pause. Before I say the next thing, before mm -hmm. I, like, do the next thing, mm -hmm. before I react, just... Inhale and exhale, and then inviting that pause and seeing kind of what it can provide you as a resource. In my experience, the thrill of dysregulation is so powerful sure. that they often don't want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's really. Have you found that? Absolutely. Yeah. There's a thrill to being dysregulated. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and it's what's familiar too, right? That's yes. the familiar pattern and it's yes. more known and it's uh, more kind of in a way comfortable. Like it's it the is. thing that you, your body knows how to do and our bodies, like our minds, like all of life is really patterned, mm-hmm. right? The dysregulation pattern is really strong and I think making a shift towards something else is really, can be very uncomfortable. And you have to have a darn good reason. Right. And I think that what I've observed, again, in these, is their uh, executive function goes out the window. Right. And so when their executive function goes out the window, the thrill, the thrill pushes the executive function out the window. Yep. And they don't think about consequences. Right. Or if the consequences flit through, rather than stopping them, yep. they just say, oh, who cares, or it's not going to happen, or right. whatever. And then later on, mm-hmm. they may experience regret, remorse, what did I do? Right. And besides that, they damage a relationship with somebody who's important to them. Yeah, absolutely. We have to yes. practice. We have, have to, to practice, practice, practice kind of... Um, well, train your brain, train your yep. body. Yep, absolutely. Practice yes. new patterns. That's and right. So I think that that's maybe an important thing to put in is this takes practice. And it's right. mm-hmm. not just something we should know how to do no, it's if not. we haven't been able to practice it or have it modeled to us. No. So I think being able to just remind yourself, like, I'm practicing something, I'm investing in some change, um, and taking care of myself and my family, and it's going to take time. So even, you know, I like to tell people, like, even, you know, on the bus, walking down the street, waiting in lines, we all have to wait in really long lines, and that can get really, those can be moments of kind of normal novice stressors in line, you know, at the post office, like, what are my feet doing? I can feel my feet. As I connect with my feet, I take a breath in. So just getting in those patterns of checking in with some part of your body, connecting it with breath to invite a pause. Mm-hmm.